Welcome back, everybody. How are we all doing? Nobody. It's the latest action movie that's been getting a lot of attention starring Bob Odenkirk, whom you might know for Better Call Saul. So in the movie, Bob Odenkirk plays as Hutch Manson, who is sort of your everyday average Joe. Uh, as expressed in these Edgar Wright-inspired editing sequences, Hutch's life is passing by him in a very monotonous way. Which a part of that monotony is sort of the confusing relationship that he has with his wife. So, I mean, it's pretty clear they're not that close after all these years because there's a pillow divide between them in their bed. But when Hutch comes home with a bunch of injuries, she looks at it like this is something that's happened before. And yet when the violence picks up later on in the movie, she's pretty surprised. So I'm a little confused about what she knows about him and what they've lived together through. It just felt like there was a subplot that wasn't very clear. And what really kicks things into gear is one night that there are two robbers that break into his home and threaten his family. They honestly don't even really steal that much. But unfortunately, Hutch has the chance to knock out one of the robbers, but doesn't and everybody in his life gives him a hard time about it. His son, his wife, his neighbor, his brother-in-law, his work. And it's funny because when you watch the scene, it's not like it was an act of cowardice. He just didn't take the swing, but he did get the gun pointing away from his son and back to him. So it's strange how all the other characters respond to the scene because it's still kind of an act of heroism. Not that anyone really saw what really happened from the angles that they were positioned anyway, so I just... But what does that say about our society anyway that, I don't know, it's like, Violence equals man. It probably explains a lot of what we see in the tabloids. But you know, the, the real funny thing though is how this narrative progresses is that it's not the watch that they stole, it's not the money that they stole, but it's when Hutch realizes that they took his daughter's kitty cat bracelet is what sends him into a fury. <laughs> what? And that should set the tone for the rest of the movie. Uh, don't mistake it, this is a gritty, violent movie with a lot of brutality, and by brutality, I do mean brutality. But there is a lot of humor sprinkled throughout the movie. There, there are just these moments throughout the movie that are just kind of so ludicrous, they're kind of endearing. I mean, when you have Bob Odenkirk screaming at the robbers, where is the kitty cat bracelet over and over again, you, you, you know you're in for some entertainment. But yeah, where the plot continues from there uh, is completely unrelated. So we have these gang members who drunkenly smash into a concrete wall and get onto the bus that uh, Hutch is sitting in. And once they start making the moves on a girl on the bus, that's when Hutch decides, yeah, I'm going to kick the crap out of them. And so he does. So for the sake of spoilers, I won't really reveal too much more beyond that, just this is where the plot sort of picks up from there. But it is really strange though, because these two plot points seem to kind of sort of exist just by coincidence. We have the first inciting incident of the robbery, but then once that's over, we have a new inciting incident of these uh, gang members getting onto the same bus as Hutch. I mean, you could argue that the robbery is sort of what started this like anger in him and this willingness to fight, but still, the fact of the matter that these gang members show up when they did was a pretty big coincidence. And where this goes is that one of the gang members is the little brother of a big gang boss leader named Yulian, played by Alexei Serebyakov, who just has the most delightful intro for an antagonist. He makes an illegal turn, ignores all traffic, you know, just jaywalks, not caring about all the cars that are stopping and honking at him. He goes into the club, snorts some random stuff off of somebody's hand, drinks, sings and dances, and then when he's confronted by some other businessmen about where their money is at, he just goes and kills a random guy. That's a pretty perfect setup, all within like a couple of minutes. I just love that Yulian looks like an evil vision, uh, crossed with uh, Tuco from Breaking Bad. But the villain really doesn't have time to breathe and sort of settle into the plot because, well, the, the Hutch character kind of steals the show. You know, and when I watch Hutch, I can't help but see Saul Goodman, as well as John Wick. Yeah, there's kind of a similarity with that film as well. Funny enough to compare those movies, uh, both creative teams actually acknowledge that they want to cross-reference each other uh, through subtle Easter eggs since they come from different studios, uh, Lionsgate and Universal respectively. So when comparing it to John Wick, uh, what made that film unique is that it was directed by Chad Selesky, who was an established stunt coordinator and cinematographer, which is what he prioritized when making this movie. And it helped to give the movie an identity as well as a lot of attention. This movie, on the other hand, really doesn't do a heck of a lot new. I mean, it does shoot its violence really well, and we have this one cool aerial gun cam, as well as the use of a lot of Home Alone-style death traps. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward action flick. 
which by all means, if you love action movies, you'll definitely get a kick out of this film, but there's definitely more exciting, more unique action films out there. Honestly, for me, the selling point is Bob Odenkirk, who really sells the average everyday man as well as a man who can be thrown into a fight. And even if the action isn't your cup of tea, uh, there, like I said, there's a lot of sprinkling of humor throughout. Like some of the musical choices when they have like these slow-mo sections. When you have songs like Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, Heartbreaker, What a Wonderful World, I mean, you know this film wasn't meant to be taken 100% serious. And there's also this running gag of Hutch trying to tell his story to some bad guys only to have them die on him in the middle of his talk. <laughs> Like I said, dark humor. And Christopher Lloyd is in this movie playing as Hutch's father, and he gets a couple of really kick-ass scenes as well. So to put it simply, it's a fun action movie. It definitely has some ties to John Wick, and Bob Odenkirk is fantastic, and there's some great brutal shots, but unfortunately there's not a heck of a lot new to it, and even the story seems a little disjointed and not 100% coherent. And so nobody gets my score of three stars. Guys, thanks as always for watching. Have you seen Nobody? And if not, what else have you been watching lately? Comment below, let me know, and of course stay tuned right here if you all want to see more.